on today's Baker Mashup. Are you frustrated by filament changes? Not sure how to pull the filament out? Is loading filament a chore prone to jams? Want to change colors in your print, but not sure how? Are you ready to call it quits? Wait, have we got the G code for you. Introducing M600. Today I'm going to show you how to completely automate the filament change process. You can see here I have mine configured to unload the filament pretty quickly. This kind of speed takes a small hack in Marlin, so let's get to work. The first step is to load up Marlin and you're going to want to edit your configuration.h. You need to verify that nozzle park is enabled. Search for nozzle park and then make sure that the Nozzle park feature is uncommented. This next piece gave me a little trouble, but I eventually figured it out. You're gonna to wanna to look for the extrusion max length. And then once you find this, you need to set this to a high value. Martlin sets the default at 100 millimeters of filament. So if you don't change this, it won't be long enough for your Bowden tube. Here's the part where you have to perform a little hack in Marlin. So you're gonna to wanna to search for your max feed rate. Then you wanna increase that value to something large like 50 millimeters a second. Be careful when changing your extrusion settings here on out as you won't actually be able to push 50 millimeters a second through your nozzle. If you try to extrude at this rate, it will just grind down your filament in the extruder. This higher value is necessary though if you wanna take advantage of a high speed filament change. Now you're going to want to switch over to the configuration advanced and search for the advanced pause feature. Make sure this feature is uncommented and enabled. We have a few changes that we need to make within here. The first one is the unload feed rate. 10 was pretty slow in my opinion, so I changed mine to 35, which worked well on my Ender 3. The next one you're going to want to change is the unload length. My Bowden tube, which I measured, was about 500, so 480 was a pretty good number here. Now you're going to want to change the slow load feed rate. This actually, in my opinion, is unnecessary. Some Bowdens you may need to slowly load in the beginning. I, however, am able to push it in enough that I can start off at 35. So I set this to 35 millimeters a second and then I set the load length to shorter than the actual Bowden tube length, so 400. I left the filament change fast load feed rate set to a slower amount, which is six. This is what's actually feeding it all the way up to your Bowden tube. I think these names are reversed, and I think it's more critical that you're slower when you actually get up to the nozzle. I also changed the purge length here. I thought 50 millimeters was a bit too long, so I set mine to 35. You can adjust this as necessary for yours. The last changes at the bottom here are really preferences. I like the nozzle timeout at 90 seconds before it starts cooling off the nozzle. And then I also put 25 beeps in here as I like to race the beeps to see if I can get the filament changed before it's done. Once you're done, save, compile, and upload your firmware. Now that Marlin is configured and uploaded to our printer, it's time to put that G-code into action. Inside Octoprint, I use a custom control editor. And within my custom control editor, I execute one single M600 command, which takes care of everything. You can see here that it the M600 command will unload for 480, and then Marlin will reload that filament, and then it load lengths for 100 millimeters, and then the rest of these are the location where you want to perform that filament change. In my case, this is the right-hand side of the print bed. Once you execute that M600 command, it will go ahead and unload your filament. Once it's fully unloaded, it will prompt you to go ahead and press the button once you've inserted the replacement filament. 
the filament load will then take place and it will take slightly longer than the unload process as it will switch to go ahead and actually purge out some of that uh, previous filament so that way you can go ahead and get the new color right from the start. If all of your previous filament is purged, just click continue. Otherwise, you can purge a little more. I like the M600 command. I think it works well, and I think it automates the whole process of unloading and loading filament. Now, it's great if you have somebody that's a little bit less experienced with a 3D printer and you need them to do a filament change. For people that are a little bit more advanced, they're gonna find that it's really unnecessary, but it is a handy feature to have. I like it because I can put it inside Octoprint, click that button, and presto, I'm changing my filament pretty quickly. And that fast unload rate, really doesn't make it any slower than if you were doing it manually. So you might want to give it a try. I suggest also trying different speed values. You may find out that you can unload it a little bit faster, or you might try something that's a little bit slower. I use the M600 command a lot when I want to add a second color to my prints. While it's printing and it gets to the specific layer, I can just press the button at any time and it will unload and then I can reload the new color. Well, that's it for this video. Hey, if you enjoyed this, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to leave your comments in the description. Are you gonna use M600 or are you gonna do your filament changes manually? We'd like to know. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell to get instant notifications when we produce new videos. So thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time.